okay, this has been a trend, I guess. And just like others, I do this yearly video of me talking about tech that I'm going to focus on for the next year, which is 2024. And today is December 30th. So just one more day left for 2023 to end. And yeah. So this will be the video where I'll talk about tech and skills that I'll be focusing on and I want to learn in the next year. So as you can see, huge Notion fan. So I use Notion to, for my own personal note taking and organizing my life. And you can see this is the tech that I'll be focusing on and also some certifications as that's how I've been doing these videos for the past two years. So talking about tech, the first one we got is K8s, which is Kubernetes, so containerization. I had K8s on my list for 2023, but, and I think I should make a dedicated video on this. Don't do the same mistake as me because I thought it'll be easy to navigate the Kubernetes uh, ecosystem and it would be, you know, doable within a year. Trust me, you can't. It's it's hard to master Kubernetes. So I'm going to spend 2024 again on Kubernetes, and that will be the first thing or the top priority for me to learn this. As some of you may know, um, well, I'll share my 2023 list too. So k was also on my list back then, so containerization. I did do some, but I didn't really spend time and, you know, built applications that were uh, containerized. So this year, I'm going to definitely go all hands on. And also, that's why you'll see I have a list of KCNA. Talking about 2023, since I already went back up the list, you know, ISE, I did focus a lot on Terraform. You know, I had two courses, uh, full one-hour courses that were released. One was on Free Code Camp. Uh, with GCP, and then the other one was with Azure, which was on my own channel. Uh, for Python, I did build some APIs and some projects that you might have seen on this channel. They were all in Python. I also explored different API frameworks. So I always used Flask. So I explored, you know, fast API. And yeah, so Python was good. Web Dev. Um, there was a QR code generator project that I did for that. For the front end, I used Next.js, but yeah, I'm not so good with front end. And that being said, I had more time this year to practice with Next.js with that project. Azure and AWS, they both, I think I spent a fair share um, with both cloud providers. I have been an AWS community builder for four years now. I got renewed this year. So I guess this section would be kind of a recap for 2023. And for Azure, good news, I am a Microsoft MVP now. So that means I've been spending time in both of these cloud providers. Vault, which is a HashiCorp product, I didn't have a chance to integrate this into my projects. So I guess this is the one which I kind of failed uh, along with k eights, I guess. And that is for 2023. For the certifications, I didn't go out of my way to prepare for these. And you might have seen that on the channel. Um, I created videos for the AWS DevOps professional and how I passed it. And one thing I shared is I didn't study. You know, I just use all my experience and hands-on projects that I had been doing towards the knowledge uh, that was tested on this exams. Same thing with DevOps Engineer Expert and the Linux Essentials. So... I focus mainly on being hands-on and I just wanted to prove, I guess, that being hands-on is more important than cramming study material, right? Uh, but that being said, if you're new to the industry, definitely go through the study material and the objective that a certain vendor shares for the certifications because, you know, you're new to the industry and you're new to the tech world. For me, I've been working within these cloud providers for years now. So I wanted to just test my knowledge with both of the DevOps pro level certifications. Let's come back to 2024. So I know we were talking about K8s. That's how we went to 2023. But yeah, Kubernetes still the focus in 2024. And that's why you'll see that 
I have the KCNA in the certification goals. So I'll be setting my KCNA next year. The next one is LLMs or large language models and AI. So I'll continue developing that skill set. We, we saw a huge shift this year where the tech industry is going. And one of the wins that I like to share is that I did a Langchain course on Free Code Camp. So you can check that out. And I'll keep exploring the world of AI. So LLMs and AI. And this also kind of reflects on my certification goals because I have the Azure AI 102, which is the AI engineer associate exam from Microsoft. So yeah, web dev, I definitely liked Next.js and the things that I've been building with Next.js. So I'll keep on exploring that and maybe, you know, do some more advanced projects with Next.js. Azure AI Service, again, since I'll be going over the 102, I think this kind of links very well with this. So I'll be exploring the Azure AI services that are available. Also, I want to focus on AWS security and generative AI. So the offering that AWS has for generative AI, I want to explore that uh, within AWS. So that's the focus when it comes to AWS as the cloud provider. So security and Gen AI. And then another goal I want to do is have dev containers on all of my projects. So if you don't know what dev containers are, there is a video that I did about GitHub Code Spaces and also Gitpod. So go check them out. Um, those are basically cloud development environments or also known as CDEs. Dev containers basically also gives you the ability to run your repository code into a confined container so it can have its own environment uh, using Docker. So it doesn't matter uh, if you don't want to use GitHub code spaces, but you can still use containers on your local machine as a closed environment. So that's why I want to have support for dev containers on all of my projects that I share with you on this channel. That being said, that is kind of the focus for 2024. I want to keep this video short. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about 2024. Yeah, let me know in the comments what your learning goals are or what are the some what are some skill sets that you are going to focus on for the next year. And by the way, I'm doing a certification giveaway. So I want to help as many people I can to start their cloud journeys. I know I'm kind of already doing that with this channel. That's the goal for this channel. But I also want to help financially for people who want to set their first cloud certification. So yeah, so look out for the details on how that, that giveaway will happen. But make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And yeah, good luck for 2024. Happy learning. Peace.